Today on Eagle Nation News, find out what our town is doing to increase community involvement in regards to the new stadium being built. We take a look at the custodians and students' appreciation for them in our school. And Haley Brown will be in studio discussing the passing of a creator of a well-known kids' TV show. Eagle Nation News starts right now. Good afternoon, Prosper High School. Today is Tuesday, November 27th. I'm Christina Folsom. I'm Jordan Ramsey. And I'm Casey Boston. Now, Jordan, earlier on in the year, you gave us some information in regards to the Central American immigrant um, caravan. Mm -hmm. But now as the story has progressed, you have more. That's right, Christina. This Sunday, a large group of Central American migrants attempted to cross into the United States from Tijuana, Mexico. Mexico reported that it has since deported 100 of these Central American migrants claiming that they attempted to cross the border violently and illegally. The U.S. reportedly used tear gas to repel the migrants and has detained 42 migrants who crossed into the U.S. President Trump was quick to close the Tijuana border crossing and has threatened to close the border permanently if need be. In local news, Dancing with Dominic will be held on December 2nd from 2 to 5 p.m. to raise awareness for Hunter Syndrome and celebrate his ninth birthday. Hunter Syndrome affects one in every 150,000 boys, and the event will be at 3R's Ranch. It will be casual attire, and the Talnets and Reynolds and Rogers drill teams will be in attendance to perform. As many may know, the new stadium is being built for Prosper ISD and should be ready by next year. Julia Bizion, oh my God. Julia Bizion shows us what community members are doing to leave their mark in Prosper for years to come. After years upon years of playing in our beloved Eagle Stadium, Prosper ISD announced in summer of 2017 that construction had been approved for the brand new Prosper ISD Stadium. As a town who is always looking to get the community involved, people have the opportunity to buy and engrave bricks that will be built into the new stadium right here, opening in 2019. Since sales for the brick drive have started, there have been about 250 bricks purchased. All bricks will be placed in the rectangular area between the two home ticket booths, called the Champions Walk. Can you tell me a little bit about what the brick drive is for? Sure. Well, we just thought it was a neat way um, for our community members and anyone who's been to our school, alumni, any current students, um, staff, really anyone that's interested to be able to etch their name um, into Prosper history. I'm here with a Prosper resident who has decided to purchase a brick. Can you tell me why you chose to do so? Four years ago when we moved to uh, moved to Texas, we were trying to decide between coming to Prosper or coming to Frisco. And what we really liked was kind of that sense of community. That's what made us move to Prosper. Uh, with the build out and the community kind of getting behind all the project, and it just seemed like the, the right choice to get behind the project and the kind of the progress that's going on here. Prices to buy a brick range from $175 to $365. Bricks are available for purchase until March 10th, 2019, but there is limited stock available, so act fast. Reporting for Custodians work to make sure our school is clean and in good condition for us. But how often do we really thank them? Find out how others are showing their appreciation after this. From the moments before you walk into school to hours after school, our custodians work continuously to keep our school a clean environment every day. But what steps do students take to show their appreciation? Mia Matney takes a look. The custodians at Prosper High School have a long list of responsibilities to take care of. While they do pick up after students during lunch, they also have many other jobs around our school to keep it a clean and safe place. The biggest thing is, of course, the cleaning, the disinfecting, vacuum, sweep, dust. In the summertime, we have to strip and wax the floors, shampoo the carpets, replace broken ceiling tiles. It's, it's a very busy job. The day goes by before you know it. They work many long hours at our school. However, their job doesn't end there. 
at the games, football games. Sometimes we participate in like doing the box office, helping out with the snacks, getting drinks for the officers and people that will be security that will be taking care of the game. Although they're here every day working for many hours, most of the time they aren't seen. So a lot of what the custodians do are completely behind the scenes. To be honest, I think students walk down the hallway and don't notice that our custodians are there. And that's kind of the beauty of what they do for us because you come in, the building is fresh and clean every day, and throughout the day, the custodians are consistently working to make sure that students don't realize there are 3,500 people in the building. The custodians work very hard to keep our school clean, so do them a favor and don't leave your trash on the floor. Pick it up and throw it away. Reporting for Eagle Nation News, I'm Maddie Wilbanks. Prosper. Also, just so you know, we're short custodians this week, so make sure that you clean up after yourselves today and every day. Up next, Haley Brown will bring your to the update. Day. Alice sends it over to Haley Brown in studio with your Eagle Update. Growing up, a big part of our childhood memories were the TV shows we watched and can still reminisce on today. However, the hearts of many were touched yesterday as the creator of the popular kids TV show SpongeBob passed away from ALS. ALS is a motor neuron disease that gradually paralyzes the body. As Steven Hilberg suffered from this disease, he died yesterday at age 57. Hillenburg will be remembered for his impact on millions of childhood memories and bringing smiles to faces for generations. Well, that's all I have for you today. Back to you, Jordan. Now let's take a look at the meeting schedule for this week. Powerlifting does have a meeting tomorrow after school in the MPF weight room. And the Well, that's going to do it for our show today. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Casey Boston. I'm Jordan Ramsey. And I'm Christina Folsom. Live long and prosper.